Hello everyone, I'm Georgia and I'm here to talk to you about NutriCycle. In Bhubaneswar, India, there are about 450 million metric tons of waste created and thrown out every year. And NutriCycle wants to change that. So myself, along with my team members, are creating a business that will provide apartment dwellers in Bhubaneswar with the infrastructure and know-how to get started composting organic waste and growing vegetables, getting garbage off the streets and out of landfills, and improving the quality of life and their environment. So we're going to work with Indian residents who are concerned about environmental problems that their country is facing and want to take action and make change. In urban areas especially, environmental concerns have been exacerbated by growing population. And as populations have grown, municipal governments haven't been able to provide the necessary infrastructure to keep up. Systems like housing, transportation, and especially waste management haven't been kept up to speed. So as more and more people in urban areas create more and more waste, it's ending up on streets and in landfills. Um, this is ugly and smelly, of course, and also public health concern. It's potentially disease causing. And when it ends up in landfills, it um, is a potential groundwater contaminant and contributes significantly to climate, climate change through releasing methane. What's more, about 50% of the waste produced in India is made up of organic material. So as we all know, and we just heard from Emily, um, this organic material could be composted and create a nutrient-rich fertilizer, but instead it's going to landfill. So not only is India facing pretty bad environmental problems as a result of their waste management, they're also missing out on this potentially valuable material. So right now in India, organic waste is following this linear path. It's being produced on farms in the form of food, going to urban areas, being eaten, um, and then the stems, the peels, the rest of food waste is thrown out and ending up in landfills. So this is a broken loop. So NutriCycle wants to make this loop whole again. So nutrients and food waste instead could be returned to the soil in the form of composting and used to grow new food, creating a sustainable, continuous cycle. So to help Bhubaneswar manage their garbage and restore the cycle, NutriCycle will create a closed loop, sustainable system connecting food waste, composting, and food production. A small scale system that is easy, scalable, and replicable. So our team has experience in engineering, urban planning, agriculture, and compost. Here is me on a farm, um, and also some small scale urban farming that I've done in my yard. So we have experience with this, we're excited about it, and we're excited to bring it to Bhubaneswar. So what are we going to do? Um, basically, we'll have a three-step process that we'll do with our customers. We will work with them, um, teach them how to segregate their organic waste, we'll set them up a composting system, teach them how to do it, and then we'll build them a garden and train them in growing their own herbs and vegetables. Then we'll turn the whole thing over to them to maintain. So they'll take it forward. For an optional ongoing fee, they'll be able to pay us to provide um, answers to questions, continuous training, or help them expand in the future if they'd like. So why do we think this will work? A couple reasons um, and a couple of existing systems that we're going to take advantage of. So right now, Bhubaneswar, if you live in an apartment building, your door or your waste is probably collected door to door um, by a service worker that your apartment complex pays for. So they, that service worker will bring the waste down to the curb outside of your apartment. And at that point, it's supposed to be picked up by the city but that often, as I said, doesn't happen. So it'll end up lying in the streets. Um, it's ugly, it's not nice to come home to. And so we know from our surveys that our Indian teammates have done that most people really aren't satisfied with this waste system and they're sick of seeing it lying out on the streets. In addition, um, you probably also sort your recyclables if you live in Bhubaneswar. So you're used to sorting your recyclable and your non-recyclable waste and you'll usually sell your plastics or your metals to someone called a Kabari Walla, who's an independent professional recycler. Um, so we also know from our surveys that apartment dwellers are willing to sort one more pile of waste, which is their organics, if they know that it's going to be composted and not thrown on the street. So it won't be a significant habit change for them to add that sorting. Um, right now, that service worker that collects the waste order door is provided by a residential welfare association. So that's kind of like a condo association here in the U.S. Residents pay about 800 rupees per month to the Resident Welfare Association to provide general apartment maintenance and operations. So we'll probably, we hope to work directly with the Resident Welfare Associations and collect our fee directly from them so that residents are able to um, share the cost and share the labor of the communal garden and communal composting system. So not only will we be mitigating the waste problem that I talked about, but we'll also be helping residents turn their compost into a valuable product, food, through gardening. 
Um, they'll be taking advantage of underutilized space. We know that urban areas in India are very dense and Bhubaneswar is as well. Um, but we've seen all over the world that people are taking advantage of underutilized space in urban areas. There's rooftops, there's balconies, um, there's courtyards between apartment buildings and you can grow on vertical structures as well that can lean against walls. So we'll be adding some green space into otherwise um, pretty dense concrete urban areas. And finally, we'll be taking advantage of existing movements that are happening right now in India. We know that urban agriculture and composting is taking off and has been really popular in the United States, but it's also happening in India. Um, many people in cities like Mumbai, Bangalore, and Kolkata have started growing their own vegetables in urban areas. They're um, responding to rising food prices at the markets. Their fear of, they have a fear of some pesticides and um, some increasingly environmentally poor agriculture practices that are happening in India and they have a desire to be more self-reliant and more sustainable. Um, there's also a lot of composting models happening in other cities in India. Um, here we see in the far right corner a composting pot provided by a company called Daily Dump. They're in Bangalore and they've been quite successful selling different kinds of composting tools and information. Um, Exnora is an NGO in Chennai and they encourage people who generate waste to take responsibility for that waste and for managing it responsibly. So we know that there's a lot working in our favor, but we want to make this a real and functional business, so we're wondering if it will work. Um, this is a pretty big estimate, but we've done some initial guesses at what it would cost us to create a 1,000 foot garden for a group of about 20 households. Um, and we've come up with the calculation that we could create that garden with a 2,500 fee that we would charge each household and that the garden and the training would cost us about 1,800 rupees per household to build. So with this rough estimate, um, we calculated that we could make about a 700 rupee profit, but um, clearly we have some assumptions built into that that we need to test. So we have um, talked with an apartment complex called Aradhana Apartments. They're interested in working with us. They're interested in composting and willing to sort their waste. So for our pilot project, we'll work with Aradhana, um, we'll set up a garden there for free, and we will spread the word. So we'll use that pilot project um, to test a lot of our assumptions and see if other people in the area are interested. So um, there's a lot of different construction materials that you can use to create urban gardens. Um, you can do, you can use recycled materials, you can do it even in tires, so you can um, use a lot of interesting creative ways. So we'll test some different construction methods of urban gardens. We will um, explore how the, exactly the composting will work. It's clearly a different temperature and different um, moisture in Bhubaneswar than it is here. Same with growing. We'll look at what seeds grow well in the climate, what people like to um, eat the best. And then we'll also gauge through promotional events and educational events what the interest is. Do people um, want to pay for the service? Do they want something so big? Maybe they just want help composting and they're not interested in the gardening part. Gardening part so we'll kind of look at how we might need to adjust our model um, to fit into what people really want there. And then also we'll want to verify that it is indeed possible to get a group of people to make a decision together and work through the Residential Welfare Association for this service. Um, so we're looking at about $2,500 to construct the garden and test all of these different tools. Um, $6,000 is the cost for two of us to travel to India and live there for a year. And then our events and our demonstrations will be up 1500 so we're asking for an amount of $10,000. Um, so in addition to enjoying the practical benefits, such as saving money on their groceries, our customers will be able to improve the environment around them. Their streets will be nicer. They'll have a nice green space right in their apartments. Urban agriculture itself um, has a lot of benefits. It improves air quality. It offers inexpensive, fresh, highly nutritious food. And it will provide a sense of community among neighbors who share garden space. And then, of course, the waste problem. The waste will be off the streets and reduce the environmental problems caused by landfills. So we believe that Bhubaneswar is poised and ready to begin small-scale composting in urban agriculture and that we're the right team to bring these movements to that community. Composting and vegetable gardening have been demonstrated in urban areas around the world, including in India, as community efforts that improve lives and contribute to the environment. So help us get started so we can help the residents of Bhubaneswar get started, creating more pleasant neighborhood streets, fresh healthy food, and a communal green space in the heart of the city.